It's finally time. Welcome back, my favorite people on the internet. Today we're talking all about Glastonbury Festival. Gonna do a pack with me. I'm going again. I'm going tomorrow. So this feels like slightly last minute, to be honest. And I don't want to freak myself out that I have no idea what I'm gonna wear, but we're in it together. Last year I went for the first time and I'm going back again. I did kind of go with my family last year. My dad goes every year. I think he's been going every year. I don't think I was even born when he first started going. I don't know. He's been, he's a regular. And now he's sort of kind of let us come with him, but I luckily have a lot of friends going as well. So that's what I did last year. Bit of family time, bit of friend time, good balance. Before I start, I just got my hair done yesterday from Studio Studios, which is a hair salon in Shoreditch. I get my hair done by Jada. She's the owner. It's very cozy and intimate. It really feels like you're in someone's living room. Coolest face. Like, I cannot rave about this salon enough. And she does my blonde. And as you can see, we got some blue going on. Clearly, I was inspired by my festival lookbook for when I tried to do this myself, kind of, with my chalk pen. And we've gone for this cool little, like, under the hair situation going on. If you watch my spring outfits, video you will have recognized this belt it's vintage diesel i got it from vibal studios you will also remember that it is stanky like she's musty and crusty some of the grommet holes were um moldy and they were making my top green when i was wearing it i'm gonna keep doing like various rounds of cleaning it to get it a bit fresher but oh she still smells i can smell that must it's got this d-ring clasp that i'm gonna hang different key rings off of Hello, new water bottle. Get on there. Butter yellow water bottle. Hello, hello. I was dramatic and I did buy a new water bottle for Glastonbury, but obviously everything I buy for Glastonbury is for life. Like I will be using this all the time, but my water bottle is too big and hefty and I needed a tiny weeny one. And this is perfect size. It's that Nalgene brand. And I'm gonna put loads of stickers on it later and we'll do that together. But anyway, this belt is coming with me. The outfit that I'm wearing, I think should be my travel outfit for Wednesday and I'll just stay in this all of Wednesday evening. The shoe situation is I bought these walking boots from Scarpa. They should be arriving tomorrow. Again, last minute. Last minute.com at this point. But these look very similar. My brown Diembe ones. If these didn't have the heel that they do, you best believe I would be wearing these because I'm obsessed with these boots. I'm also going to bring some beat up Nike Air Max or whatever um, just in case, which is always handy. Let's imagine these are my walking boots. What do you think about this traveling outfit? I got this top from Awoke Vintage in New York when I was there with Chloe and then the skirt underneath is knit with the label my favorite this was such a good festival essential last year and then underneath I'm wearing these Los Angeles apparel short I want to bring these with me I'm gonna try and style different outfits in them you best believe I'm bringing loads of belts I think every single outfit is gonna have to have a chunky belt because I'm obsessed with them my bag situation technically this is the only bag that I'm bringing it's from Hunter it's like a phone pouch I just actually hate how crossbodies dig into your shorts Shoulders and I'm kind of over it. But this is like a good Thursday, like walking around, exploring, exploring vibe. So as you can probably assume, my bag of the weekend is gonna be a tool belt. And I could not be more excited about it. I have two. This one is amazing. Vintage from Cara Croa. I love how utility and army it looks. I love that the pockets close, but there's three, so you can like categorize it. It goes with everything. Like it, get me there now. The one bad thing about this incredible tool belt it does not fit my iPhone. This denim one, Deadstock G-Star. This is a proper tool belt. That one's giving, I don't know what that one's giving. These are literally scissor holders. I think this is a sewing waist belt, to be honest. But this one doesn't close. It's open, which I was like, no way am I doing that at a festival. And I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. I'm just gonna sew Velcro and then we're all good. So today, this afternoon, I'm gonna go out. We're gonna go buy some Velcro strips. Next up, I wanna try is a new outfit, a little gingham two-piece moment. This is new. It's vintage from Rags Redone from their Depop and it's got a hood. I don't know about this top with it. We'll try on some different ones, but it's vintage from Vivian's Vintage. This is also vintage. These obviously Melissa Tita. Oh gosh, this is really not looking the way that I thought it would. Little Web Riding Hood. I don't know. Am I feeling this? Thoughts, everyone? Thoughts? You know what? I love a theme and a bit of like a, not a costume thing, but I think the matching gingham could just be fun because I'm looking at my other outfits and I'm like, boring, boring. This vintage Burberry 
top from Bible Studios. I styled Amanda in this outfit. It was so good. And I was watching Ash Callaghan's video about festivals and she mentioned this whole outfit being like, it's the perfect festival outfit. And literally after she said that, I was like, maybe I should actually consider wearing it to Glastonbury. And you have to admit, like, it is good together. Oh God, she's tight. I love a good um thing around the waist at a festival. I feel like anywhere else, if I did it in London, I'd literally vomit. But doing it at a festival, I just, I like it. Maybe this feels slightly boring, but I kind of like it. It's a, actually a thermal, a little pointile thermal. Under is this pink spotty bra. I really, really want to bring this with me and wear it in a way that is seen. Like, I don't know if it picks up on camera, but you can see it through here, which I quite like. Oh, she kind of just wins every time. I just love it. And then the f***ing phone issue, like I actually can't. I would love to try and wear this. I wore it in my festival lookbook and it wore it as white shorts, but those white shorts are so stained from my period. But I have the attachment from the bottom of the dress that I cut. Where is my carabiner? Where's that stinky belt? Here it is. I can attach the carabiner through the um, belt thing and I can hang charms. Are you joking? For example, Absurd, perhaps, but love the concept. <laughs> oh, that's nice because then it kind of makes it look like a dress, and I can hang, I can hang multiple things, and I can just be like tap girl running through. The dress is kind of weird because the zip like bunches out here a little bit, which kind of does look very weird on the hips. But should I talk about a jacket situation for the evening? I want to bring something fun, but I'm not sure what. I kind of want to bring. This is like literally the opposite of fun. A grey zip up. This is originally from Uniqlo, but I found it at a charity shop. Okay, mine is creased because it's fresh out the wash, I need to um, steam it, but you get the vibe, you get the vibe. Oh, I did want to bring this. It's my Race to Worldwide thick knit zipper. It's so comfy and warm and it's got hood. I don't know. I don't know if I should do this or the grey one. She goes with a lot. I don't know, maybe I'll just see at the end. This dress is going to piss me off with this whole zip thing. Like, it's actually so jarring, but oh god. Like, should I even bring it? Because this is going to annoy me. It would look weird. But I like these together. I don't mind bringing a white skirt and it getting completely messed up with mud. It's from Holly Wear It's Vintage. Like I really would rather just wear it to death at festivals than like barely wear it at all. Ooh, it's hot in here. Oh, what's this? My Hello Kitty polka dot fan. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Already had to buy some new fans for festivals because the one I went to last month, um, my fans broke there. My friends all broke them. This is a pink Hello Kitty doing her own fan. Are you joking? Also, I wanted to get some other ones that weren't the wood because I feel like that could rip pretty easily. But this black and white polka dot one, in some lights, it kind of looks baby blue. But yeah, I got a pack of these as well from eBay. I'll link both of them down below if you want to pick them up. Actually, just the best thing ever. Like, I don't know what I did before festivals when I didn't bring fans like it's just so good like even in my room it's boiling in here kind of love this when it's really hot and i'm in like a sweaty dance tent and then just have a loose top like this i can throw on over it's from gg it's got this really now like washed out bow on it but i love it because it's see-through so you can see the pink bra and i love like the pink bra straps really simple but it feels like within my element where i'm like it's not boring it's not too much where i could think what the hell are you wearing like you're a weirdo like to stop another layer option and it's so small I'm like let's just bring it but it's my knee high hooded long sleeve I think it needs something like booty shorts because I think it's too scrunched up here but she's just good I'm gonna try this on with something else later it's time to start trying on some dresses I just got this one it's vintage from Bragg's Redone she sent it to me in a bundle if I don't wear it to Glastonbury I will wear it to We Out Here which I'm going to in um, August because I will be tanned then I think I have to wear it I think it's got to be done I would wear some little shorts under I would probably wear the Los Angeles apparel ones because because they obviously match. I've done double tool belt. Why have I not done this before? Because I love it. I absolutely love it. It means that this can be just my phone. And then here can have like all my other things. And I'm kind of really into it. Like I think it's really fun. Where is my stinky belt? Oh, that's nice. I like that. She's a good backup. She stinks, man. I can smell her from up here. Also, I said this in my festival lookbook love the idea of wearing my tool belt as a skirt would love to try and do that at glastonbury i think this dress is not the one because the best part of the dress is the floaty bit but we can try and do an outfit with this in a second does this look good this is my lucia safety bodysuit and i have yet to wear it i wasn't going to wear it to glastonbury because i was scared it's going to get messed up but it's one of those things where you spend so much on a piece might as well wear it to death wearing them with the los angeles shorts these are really comfy all these slinky shorts they're from m s they're so comfortable and i do 
you have this vintage polka dot scarf? Oh, why can't we just like make our belongings levitate? Because I would love to just not go around with a bag with this outfit. Like how am I gonna, how am I gonna solve the tool bag issue if I wear this? But I'm into it. Come on. If I do wear the bodysuit, I think this long sleeve should be my top for the evening because I love that you can still see that it's striped. I love the look with the boot shorts. I love this. It's giving, kind of giving like pirate waist belt thing going on. How could I forget about this skirt? Like, I think she just, she's got to come somehow. It's old Topshop. I found it off of Depop. I love it. And I think with the brown walking boots, it's going to look really good. Tall belt. Would she work like this? Kind of. I kind of like it. Glastonbury needs to be twice as long so I could wear all of these outfits. Love this top. I did kind of buy it with Glastonbury in mind. I bought it from Depop from Rags Redone. She has another colour in blue but I'm so glad that I went for this black colour. Love the whole vibe of it. Kind of, oh, not the period pants sticking out. Kind of reminds me of old Gamagua stuff they did a few years ago. What about this? I kind of like it. I could try and attach this. Oh, and then walk around like did it do Love it, love it. This is my VV waist skirt. And my friend Vivian's small brand. It's like ethically made in London. Yeah, I kind of like it with this. It elevates it. I probably still would tie this because I just love the idea of it. Like moving with me as I as I move. I wore this in my festival lookbook and it's just always a winner. I think I prefer this. Keeping it simple, no bikini. The scarf is nice and I can do so much with it. I wonder if I can put it in my hair. This is cute. I like this. I kind of got this dress for Glastonbury, it's from Depop. It's vintage DKNY, it's my new favourite summer dress. I love that you can do the buttons. But now I'm looking at it, I'm like boring, literally boring. Maybe I just save it for the other festival. I do want to bring some other trousers with me. I've got to bring some trackies. These are already beat up, they've got loads of paint on them. And last year I brought my Peachy Den cargoes and these are a lifesaver. I'm also the type of person to get cold really easily anyway, so I might as well bring a few pairs. Or I bring these instead of the trackies they're from yellow page they're forest camo the softest fabric like if i get cold at night i could sleep in these definitely want to bring some shorts these are from yellow page i do have pajama shorts that i'm going to be bringing anyway but i think it'd be good to have another pair they're actually perfect and the fabric is just perfect for a festival i do also have them in red but i'm looking at the color palette and I feel like maybe white is more complimentary. I don't know, they're both good. And I also think I wanna bring this top, my vintage Spider-Man top from an Australian op shop. This is cool, I like it. It's a few hours later as you can see. I feel like it's so dark in my room, but it's time to do my water bowl. I love this bottle, guys. These are all of my stickers. I'm so gonna put a yellow page face on it. I love this Realization Par one. And I have these Hello Kitty ones from Japan. I can't believe I'm going tomorrow. Like, it just does not feel real. There we go. <laughs> Why do stickers give me so much joy? It's actually sad. Oh, okay. Guess we'll bring it there on the other side. Little Hello Kitty. I think I'm gonna do another Hello Kitty. So cute. This is done for now. Love it. Obviously, I'm gonna bring a bunch of carabiners and stuff. I've got this one. I kind of do want to bring the New York teddy bear. I have loads of these Hello Kitty key rings. I've also got this triangle carabiner and it's got the yellow page face on it. So I'm gonna bring these two. I want to bring loads of badges. And before I thought I had enough to do like a full skirt covered in badges or something. No, I don't. I really don't. I really want to bring some of these. I don't really know what I would want to attach it to. Maybe my tool belt. I need to give you guys a haul. I got some belt. This is actually iron on, which is so good. I don't have to sew it. So we'll do that in a second. I got a big fat thing of socks and then they have this carabiner that's also a torch. So I have to get it. It looks like a trumpet. It literally looks like a trumpet on my tool belt. <laughs>
But no one's getting together no. We're all dodos of a feather Editing Susie here. I've had so much fun editing this video. I hope the vlog clips do it justice. Like, I hope you can see how much fun we had. It was generally one of the best weekends of my life. I also ran into so many of you guys there. It was just the sweetest time. Like, it just made the experience so much better. I love you all. And of course, the festival content is not going to stop here. We have so much left of this summer. I love when you go to one and then you get tricks for yourself the next time of like what to bring, what to wear, what to do, whatever. The Scarpa shoes, they are a success. I recommend them. I will be bringing them to the next festival i love them i will also be wearing a tool belt at every single day of every single festival for the rest of my life because they are so handy and sewing the velcro is a game changer all the weight is on your waist like you don't have to carry anything nothing's weighing down your shoulders it's actually just ideal you guys need to get on tool belts if you haven't already like anyway thank you so much for watching subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on my socials and i will see you in my next video